Some Southwest Airlines customers are still dealing with the aftermath of delayed and canceled flights during the holidays. Fox 7 Austin's Meredith Aldis joins us live from ABIA tonight with the latest. Rebecca, one couple tells me they still can't believe this happened to them. It changed all of their holiday plans. We are still recovering. Believe it or not, we really are. It was it was traumatic. Kathleen and Jim and, uh, Schwinning were trying to fly from Pittsburgh to California to see their son for Christmas. No flights getting out of there. They didn't even make it halfway. They got stuck in Austin for seven days. We could have rented a car and drove to California would have taken 20 hours, but we're like, no, we'll get on the next one. And then when that would be canceled, then you just kept having hope that this could never keep occurring. They say the first day they were given a hotel voucher, but then Southwest stopped handing those out, so they paid out of pocket and they didn't have their luggage. We had to get, you know, change of clothes, underwear, pajamas, because we had been in the same clothes for four days. Finally, they were able to fly standby on the 29th and made it to California with their luggage waiting for them. It helped in, in the fact that we had our valuables, we had our medicine, we had our clothes. So that in itself was comforting to have your suitcase, which is crazy to think just a suitcase brought you comfort. There were so many people that couldn't find their luggage. So we were fortunate enough to find ours. Southwest Airlines says they've returned almost all of the luggage and are processing tens of thousands of reimbursement requests a day for meals, hotel accommodations, and alternate transportation. Schwinning say they plan to submit theirs totaling about $800. We'll see uh, if they stand behind their reimbursements. Um, you can check in with us and we'll let you know how we feel about Southwest once we get our email off. Because of the operational disruptions and almost 17,000 flights canceled in a span of 10 days, Southwest Airlines is expecting a net loss in fourth quarter 2022 of up to $825 million. To help prevent this from happening again, Southwest Airlines CEO Bob Jordan says they're allocating more than a billion dollars to upgrade and maintain its IT systems. We've already taken immediate actions to mitigate the risk of this ever happening again, and the review work will inform additional actions and investments as well. Southwest Airlines is offering bonus rapid rewards points for people who are impacted. If you need to claim those, if you need to file for a reimbursement, or if you still need to get your luggage, we have information on how to do so at fox7austin.com. As for the Schwinnings, they say they do not plan to fly anytime soon. Reporting live from ABIA, Meredith Aldis, Fox 7 Austin News.